so um, I did a video where we were talking about speed shooting and a whole bunch of different methods, that kind of thing. Well, it's lots of fun and I love it and I totally support that video and I've also learned something as well. There's this, uh, um, we're talking about kind of speed shooting, this Lars Anderson sort of awareness that's happened. Um, I've been making my own arrows for fun. I haven't fletched these ones yet, but uh, they're lots of fun. Anyway, so <laughs> partly because it's entertaining and I break too many of the other arrows, so I hate spending lots of money just to break an arrow. So I'm going to show um, show you how to shoot the um, what I believe to be the popular Lars Anderson way of shooting. So uh, I've got four arrows here. Let me kind of show you what I've got going on. I did these by hand, so I'm not like professional or amazing or anything, but I've got these knocks that I've done in this. You'll see that there's a bit of a flattened part. That flattened part is vertical. It goes up and down. So these knocks are not consistent. They're all a little bit different, but they all fit and work. And uh, I did a little video on how I made these, but I don't know if it's very useful or not. But anyway, and of course I haven't fletched them yet. I've marked where my fletchings will begin and where they'll end and that kind of thing. So we're not going to do like any sort of ranged accuracy or whatever, because that's what fletchings are for. Fletchings are to prevent your arrow from going like this through the air. As it moves this way, if this is a, let's pretend my hand is fletching, as it moves this way, this part pushes against the air and it kind of pushes it back. So it stabilizes airflow because it, things don't like to fly against the air like this. They like to fly smooth, right? So as long as your fletchings are aligned a certain way and straight, then it'll prov you'll have a little bit of wag, but it'll stay on, on target for the most part. But, um, Oh, one of these arrows I've actually, that's funny, I've shot where it's kind of gone down and skimmed a bit off. That's all right, whatever, doesn't matter. So, um, we're going to shoot some. Let me show you how to hold these. Um, it's a very, very easy way of doing this. See in my hand, I'm holding them. So it's the same way as if you're going to hold one arrow. Okay, that's how it works. I'm just going to hold one arrow in my hand, like I'm holding a pencil. And I'm going to hold another one. And I'm keeping about the length of my pinky. That makes sense? So if I want to put a couple on, that's what I'm doing. Okay? So I'm, I'm just holding them in my hand like this. I'm not having them down like this. We've talked about other methods. But this is good because if you want to draw a whole bunch of arrows out, you just go in with your palm, grab them, and then as you push your thumb, against your hand, it kind of fans them out. So that's what we're gonna do. That's how we're gonna hold a whole bunch of arrows at once, okay? So what I'm gonna to do to load these in, is I'm gonna use my thumb. I'm gonna see how my thumb's on top, and my thumb is gonna rest on the flat part of the notch. Now all modern arrows have this too, okay? So my thumb is resting up on top. So I know that my knock is going to be up and down as it should be because the flat where my thumb is, is also up and down. So that's what I get used to feeling. I get used to feeling with my thumb, the flat. And I can use my thumb to kind of twist these things so that they're up and down, okay? So that's what I've got going on. So if you want to grab, like if I've got these in a quiver, let's just pretend I got a quiver. All right, you can just dive in with your palm. Grab a bunch, pull them out like so. Okay, so maybe practice grabbing that and keeping them up and making them stay in line. And I use my pinky down here to make sure they're all kind of the same length. Okay, but it happens really quick, it's really easy. So I've got them here lined up on my bow and I'm shooting like the other methods that I talked about. I can easily just reach in here, grab the ends, pull them off and I'm good. Okay, I'm holding four right now. All right, does that make sense? So I'm going to use my thumb again to make sure that my thumb is pushing downwards, which means it's on top, and I'm going to hold it like this. So as I shoot, I'm just going to load up on this side here. Now there's a trick that I'm going to do. I'm not trying 
to stick the arrow out. I'm not trying to stick the um, the knock out so that it's sticking out somewhere. Because if it sticks out, like if I'm holding it like this or I'm holding it somewhere, I have to go find it now. And while it's floating up here in the air, there's 365 degrees of searching I have to do to find th this end. But I know where my arm is and I know where my hand is, right? So if I can get the string to move down my arm like this, let's just pretend it goes go like this, and it can find and it can find this knock, then it can lock in. Does that make sense? That's what I'm doing. I'm using my hand as the guide to find the knock. So I can easily put this on. My thumb is, is pushing down, so that means my my knock is vertical to match my string. So I just come on, put it on, using my thumb to help stabilize. And I let the string slide across the meat of my thumb, on my palm, and it slides, I have it slide right along my thumb. See how that, so it doesn't matter how hard I push, as long as I'm pushing it, the string is gonna run right down my hand. And look what it's gonna do. It's gonna run right down and knock right into there. Does that make sense? So I got all my arrows, and this is kind of what it looks like on my end. Okay, so the string goes down and just finds its way. Does that make sense? So that's what I'm doing. I'm using my hand as the guide. So again, I'll give you this ankle right here. So I have one sort of feathered forward, just a tiny bit, and the rest. Here's the rest, and I feather one forward just a tiny bit. So my the pad of my thumb is touching it. And then I shoot it, and then I let one feather forward. So I have the part of my hand that's holding them all, and then the one that's forward is the one that my thumb, the pad of my thumb is, is really contacting with. That makes sense. And that's the one I'm going to shoot. So, anyway, so I got these all loaded up, load in like this. And what happens is that as my hand contacts with this, it goes in and it knocks. As my hand pulls back, it naturally finds a way. It naturally finds this. And I'll shoot. And then it comes back again and naturally shoot, okay? So then it comes back again and naturally shoot, okay? And that's what happens. And as I pull back, my pointer finger nearly always is on the shaft of the arrow, and these fingers are below. Okay, this is the one that naturally happens when I pull back. Now, I, I have certain preferences, and depending on how I load it, I might shoot it like this, or I might shoot it like this. But this faster speed load business, I don't have to change anything about my hand. I just pull back like that. I'll give you another angle. So I don't have to change anything, it just goes right in. And as I pull back, this is what happens. Okay, that makes sense? Hope oh, that's enough angles, because there's a lot of it is, is the subtle little nuances that aren't shown, okay? The whole point is to not reinvent what your body does naturally. So if I shoot like this, I can just load up. I can load up. Okay, there was a little bit of knock finding because I wasn't pressing. And I know I'm not pulling back all the way, that kind of thing, but that's the deal, okay? So I come up, I load it on. This is how easy that is, okay?
So when you start, start off with two. One is in your hold, holding part of your hand. One is in the thumb loading part. Okay. This is the one I'm going to shoot. This is the other one is the one I'm holding. Okay. So I can load it up and just naturally pull up. Okay. Hi. Oh, fun. Package for somebody. Anyway, so there we go. Grabbing four. Gonna put it on. Okay, and that's not really pushing things. Okay, so that's how it's done. So you can hold four in one hand, grab things like you just normally would. The other methods, so you can put between your hands, your fingers like this. This is really good for um, shooting kind of the Turkish way. And again, this way, when you hold them like this, you just slide back in there, and then pull back and it locks on. And then you just can shoot like this, or you can shoot like this. Okay, does that make sense? So. That's funny. The post office wants to give me mail that's not mine. But, all right. So other videos, you can look at that. They're long enough and in-depth enough. So again, we have how you grab them. Okay. Loading them on. Really. Be shooting my bow. Okay, there we go. Boy, everybody shows up when you shoot a video, right? So that's what we're doing. My thumb is pushing down. Really simple. And you don't even have to look at your hand or your bow or anything because you feel you can feel that rub along your palm. I'll just remove my finger so you can see, because this is what's happening. See that? That's the sensation I'm, uh, that I'm experiencing. The string goes down my palm, and it slides right in there, because there's nowhere else to go. That's the end of the road right there, the knock. Okay, that's what's going on when I do this. And I leave my fingers here. so that I don't have to do anything or go anywhere to pull the string. My fingers are going to contact with the string fully as I pull back and shoot. I'll do one more shot on this side. Okay, so I go in, load up, and it just travels down my hand, getting into the knock. See that? That's it. Simple and straightforward. It gets complicated and hard because we make it complicated and hard. But in reality, that's really super easy and fast. So, I have a theory on aiming, which I also want to discover. Maybe I should read a book about that, the Saracen Archery a bit. But I have a theory on aiming. I've been aiming using my eyes and like using a certain set point to get some consistency down here. But when I watch videos of people doing the speed shooting, there's not a consistent place. You see someone let go down here, you see the same person let go out here, or like this, or like this, or letting go all over the place, and there's not a consistent um, spot on their faces where they are, um, where they're anchoring their shot. So, tells me that uh, there's something more fast and more efficient than consistent face anchoring. Uh, to get a really accurate shot. So that's the next thing I'm trying to figure out. So anyway, happy archery shooting stuff. Have fun.